Well, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, with another Socceroos uh, post-match reaction. It's a lot more joyous than the last one we did after that horrendous display against Japan. But I guess we can say the display wasn't uh, much better. Um, Australia getting up 2-1, obviously. Give us a like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm Bradley. I'm joined by Samuel. How are you going, Samuel, at uh, 6.03 a.m. In, in the morning? Yeah, look, my eyes, I've just got permanent bags under my eyes because I've got a kid, but uh, you look a bit dusty. <laughs> well, I actually did quite well. I went to bed at like 10 o'clock. It's probably the earliest I've gone to bed in years, probably since I was in year 12. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. No, look, that first half was hard to sit through, wasn't it? I watched it on Paramount Plus and the commentary was poor <laughs> so bad who was your commentator the uh, other guy whatever the world feed was no, oh you're Robbie the world Thompson feed was, oh yeah it's terrible i had channel so 10 I, yeah i switched over to 10 for the second half but uh the first half was was real dire from both teams like just crappy football no one really trying to to make much of an effort nathaniel atkinson trying his best to give you mm. a goal like just woeful defending on that right hand side but thankfully we got a second half that's that's where all the action really kicked off the second half much more entertaining mm. and um yeah yeah i guess Bradley, would would you make of the team selection for the soccer ruse first of all oh uh, that's what it is i i i think i love nathaniel atkinson and it was good to see him get a start but i think it was quite evident like i said Probably just a bit out of his depth uh, for the match today. Uh, it was good to see Craig Goodwin uh, get a start as well. He He's probably been the best player in the A-League, brought up there in the discussion and one of the best players of the season. Um, Aaron Moy shouldn't have started. You know, I think that the commentator, Robbie Thompson, said, you know, it's the mo- <laughs> at about the 80th minute mark, this is most football he's played in about six months. Um, I know, you know, Years ago, you know, he was probably in his prime, but you just can't be starting players. And then I think what Matthew Leckie was starting is like the forward. Yeah. And which I, which I thought was odd, which if you played Mc, McLaren the forward and then Leckie out on the wing, you know, that's what they're normally playing at their club level. It just, Graham Arnold baffles me. Um, he just constantly finds ways to wow me. And, and, and I was telling you about that meme before I saw it's, do we want to qualify the World Cup and keep Graham Arnold or do we want to miss out on the World Cup and have him sacked? I don't know. I don't want to pick. Um, yeah, listen, I, I it's think, a, yeah, it's a win. It's a win. It's not pretty, but, you know, I, a, lot I think, of, a lot of World Cup games are pretty. Sorry, go on. I think he, he picked a side thinking we would win. I think his eyes are, were actually on Peru. I think as much as the talk of, you know, get through this and then think about that, I think starting Aaron Moy for this game probably shows he, he may not start against Peru. Uh, Kai Rolls rather than Dejanek at centre-back. Mm. I think that's to keep Dejanek fit for the next game. Awa Mobil. Uh, mm. Yes, Craig Goodwin has been fantastic in the A-League this season, but Awa Mobil probably should be starting. And, yeah, Lecky up front rather than a McLaren, rather than someone else. I think it, it showed he was already thinking about let's win this and get on, which was risky because there were times in that match where it didn't look certain that we were going to win that. I think Kai Rolls and Bailey Wright did a great job at centre-back. I think they both played really well. Uh, Bates was fantastic as usual. Um, I think the midfield looked a little disjointed at times, uh, particularly interesting, both Irvine and Hrustich in possession, we're actually getting quite mm. wide um, mm. and trying to kind of double team their, their wing backs. Maybe that was a tactic just for UAE. Um, not sure how I'll go against Peru, but, you know, we'll talk about that later. I don't really know <laughs> Peru's side, but Sun tells me it's going to be a bit trickier. I, I don't, don't know how that's going to go. Mm. Um, McLaren was, yeah, interesting too. He actually looked all right when he came on. Um, but... Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, he he can go missing in big games, and we've seen that before. And so maybe that, that was the fear, and maybe that's why he didn't get a start. But mm. yeah, 
Look, yeah, we did come out with a win. What about the goals? Uh, Socceroos' first goal. It's a really over. good goal. Yeah, yeah. We, we won the ball high up, uh, you know, one possession and, and kind of went at them. And really, Martin Boyle just looked fantastic. Uh, he does it all. And, and Jackson Irvine popping up mm. in the middle of the box. Uh, so two of our centre mids with goals. Um, yeah, fantastic goal. UAE's goal showed some poor defending. Again, it was Atkinson getting caught kind of not on his man. That left winger for UAE was quite deadly. He, he was really quick. Hmm. And then just pandemonium kind of when the cross went in. I don't think anybody knew where it was going and it, and it dropped for their Brazilian import. And it was the worst time to concede as well because we just scored. Um it's bad enough to concede a goal like that any time of the game, but just straight after scoring, we're on such a buzz and showing a lack of composure. It was, uh, I was trying not to be pessimistic when that goal went. I said, oh yeah, that'd be right. You know, this is, this is how we're going out <laughs> with uh, absolute crap, but you know, credit to him. Yeah. Well, Hrustich, what a banger with yeah. his left foot. Like yep. absolutely creamed it. Paul UAE defender just took it. <laughs> yep. And um, I, I did call that. Uh, I'd, I'd called earlier. I'd put it in a, on the Instagram story. A 2-1 win for the Socceroos with a hoof-stitched left foot banger. And it, and it bloody came true. God. I didn't I, see it, so. I was in I bed. I didn't see your tip. Yeah. I was in bed next, next to my wife. And when that went in, I was just like... <clears throat> Trying to keep quiet, <laughs> but uh, it's good to see uh, Aussie Kit Nerd from Twitter. Just oh, I was at him, was at him in the crowd. Yeah, nice, very good on him. Good but, on him making uh, a trip to Qatar as well. Incredible. Look, mm. if you've gotten up and watched it at 4 a.m., good on you. Uh, even if you're watching this video after watching the game on replay, how good is how good is it? Socceroos were one match away from World Cup. And I think Bradley's talked about it before uh, in our previous video. He, he's an optimist when it comes to the Socceroos. I think I am too. I think all of Australia, I think we're generally pretty optimistic about the Socceroos. And so we've got a tough match up against mm. Peru next. But I feel like, I, I don't know, you just got to back the Roos. You've got to back them. Let us know down in the comments, you know, are we going to beat Peru? Is, are we going to get there to the World Cup? And if we do, does Graham Arnold keep his job? I think that's the hot question. It's, it's going to be a big one. We won't do a preview this morning because it's, it's like only just six o'clock, not even yet. And uh, it's probably a little bit more of bed to get back to, but uh, we will do a preview before the, the Peru match. And uh kind there is one one game away one game away on you boys we'll uh see you next time i think over there see you around see ya